on to number three we go. So our next question explains that it's a verbal way of representing this function. But it says, what pattern does the numerical representation reveal and how does it connect to the model? So this is the part I was kind of talking about earlier where we've got to look for a pattern. And if I just pull up right now the, the numerical table that we created, you can kind of see that for like a pool side length of one, we had eight, two was 12, three was 16. Um, and also with the pictures, it was kind of that whatever our pool side was, it was somewhat like that number times four of these. But then we also had these individual corner pieces. So a way that you would describe this using words is to describe it like for each additional foot of pool length, it would add how many tiles to the border. Or like the number of tiles is equal to to what? So as we eat, add each additional foot of pool length, and we'll call that letter S, it's going to add each time how many tiles to the border. So to answer that question, we actually want to look at the numbers. So up here in the numbers, we notice like to go from one to two, that's adding one foot. How many tiles did we add? To go from eight to 12, that's that's a change of four. To go from two to three feet for the side length is a change of, again, adding four more tiles to that border. So for every foot that we change, we are adding four tiles to the border. Before I move on though, I do want to express it in one other way because in order to turn this into an algebraic um, equation or a function rule or an algorithm, there's different words for the same thing, but um, we would sometimes describe it kind of, I guess, more mathematically. Um, and a way that we could think about it, and this is gonna help you with the next one, is to say that the number of tiles is equal to, and we have to think about what. So up here in this little picture, I kind of started to get you on this course. So I was thinking that whatever this side length is, we could just simply call this side length S. We have how many of those? So there's one, two, three, four. So we could say four times S and S being the side length. So I'm gonna write that in. Four times the side length. And we're going to call that S. And then we also have to go back and we have to add in those four corner tiles. So each time, no matter how small or big our order gets, is that four number ever going to change? And the answer is no. So it would just be a, a positive four because you're always going to have to add in those corners. So I would say plus four corner tiles. And this is really going to help us when we move on to this symbolic part, which is to write an algebra um, function rule or formula for this. So now when we look at this, I pretty much already set it up like it's a, um, a math equation, which it's saying the same thing. Each additional foot of pool length is going to add four tiles to the border because as we go up by one, you're going to be adding four more for each side length. So if we were to take the words that we had for the second part, the number of tiles is equal to four times the side length plus four corner tiles, we could call the number of tiles, we could call that T. And we could say T is equal to four times the side length. So we could just call that 4S. 
plus the four corner pieces, so plus four. And that would be our symbolic representation, our mathematical function, our formula, our algorithm, however you like to say it, where, like I said, T is number of tiles and S is equal to side length. 